Hey everybody, Cervell, what's up? Pirate D, what's up? Welcome to A Side of Bourbon, another episode where tonight we start our new thing where uh, we're going to do like two dishes per stream. Um, and tonight we're doing dessert and an entree. So the entree, um, even though we're making that second, is going to be beef stroganoff. Thomas Keller's beef stroganoff. You guys might not know who Thomas Keller is, but he's probably like one of the best chefs in the country. Uh, he has French Laundry in Napa Valley. Uh, he's, I mean, he's amazing. He's one of my huge idols. Uh, I'll show you the cookbook in a second when you start making that, uh, that dish. But before, because the dessert needs to uh, chill out, we're going to make tiramisu first. So Spody loves tiramisu. I would say it's her favorite thing in the world. And possibly the only reason she even hangs around me is because I made tiramisu from time to time. <laughs> so, and that has rum in it. So it's a nice, like a side of bourbon and some rum. So it's neat. But yeah, so we're doing the tiramisu. Gonna let that chill out, make their stroganoff, have a sick little setup of entree, dessert kind of stuff. So tonight's bourbon has some Noah's Mill, which is so freaking good. Uh, Kentucky, of course, because bourbon, Kentucky. Don't buy bourbon not from Kentucky, honestly. Uh, but yeah, let's pour a little nip of this. Let's start cracking some eggs, making some tiramisu. Welcome to a shot of bourbon. Yeah, so, the Misu, the Tiramisu, also surveilled, boo, 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 <laughs> but Tiramisu, so first thing we gotta make is like a, a custard, a savillon, as the French say, which I probably butchered the shit out of that word, but uh, we're doing this, so we gotta get egg yolks, first thing, right? Also, double boiler, you guys know what that is? Basically, you want your bowl to go into like over a pot of simmering water. So get that bad boy going. You can't touch the water. Just it basically want like the steam to heat the bowl. It's like indirect heating methods. So yeah, so egg yolks. Yeah, so yeah, I'm doing egg yolks now. Six of these bad boys. Oh, this is very um. The shell's brittle on these guys. God, that's a brittle weird. Okay, but that one that one was successful. That uh, the first one was for the homies. Okay, got to pour out one egg for the homies, man. It's a rule for your fallen fallen kitchen comrades. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you don't. That was a not a great start, honestly, to my egg yolk skills. Do this guy, you know, pass it back and forth. Let him know he's loved. But not the egg white part that goes in the bowl for the trash can. Teach me, master. So, Bill, I'll teach you a thing or two, bud. How was your, uh, are you not uh, eating chicken wings and watching football this weekend? Uh-oh. Are you doing the same thing, like, over again? What's your food of choice today for fit battles? Wings is a solid choice. I do love some wings, as I said last week. We did wings Friday. Wait, what? Friday. We did? Oh, yeah, we did have wings Friday. On a snacking meal. They were delish. Ah, uh, you worked every time all weekend? That's, no, that's pretty cool, though, right? I mean, it's not cool, but, like, I 
fucking money school, so, you know. I also am a fan of money. So, six egg yolks. Three quarters cup of sugar. Right in there. Now, think about sugar and egg yolks. It's weird. You can basically, like, cook the egg yolks with sugar, but you want to cream it. Okay? You got to cream it. So, you want to get your whisk a -roo and, like, stir it up. But, like, whisk it so see how it's, like, very bright yellow, right? You want to do this so it becomes, like, like a, a nice pale yellow and looks, like, kind of creamy, right? So, you want to really, like, whisk it vigorously. Get you a nice arm workout. See, it's already kind of getting pale there. Kind of already getting the 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 paleness is happening. Yeah, and that's the color you want to start looking for. It's like when it gets that weird. Um, yeah, it's kind of like like kind of looks creamy. Like um, almost like a good comparison for the, what, the, like, what this looks like. I don't, I don't know. You have no food in your food. Interesting. <laughs> well, thanks for the follow, Astro Sub. Astro Sub. Astro Sub, the follow. Yeah, thanks, dude. Uh, I'm guessing you meant I had no, I had no food in my house. <laughs> the overtime is really wearing you out. Fridge. Oh, fridge, possibly fridge. Got you. So, I mean, I think same thing. The house. Shoot, Boom. Shoot. In your face, Spody. Don't you dare. Yeah, boom. Like, see, like, that looks, like, way different than the egg yolks look, right? All right, let's get this guy over our double boiler. Let it go ahead and get heated up. Looks like sticky hands there from the eggs, though. I'm going to do a little soap, soap action on this one. Yeah, so like, do you guys like uh, tiramisu? Do you guys like no tiramisu? Are you guys like tiramisu fans? Oh, some burgers. Nice, dude. I love me some burgers. You grill them? Did you, did you ground your own meat, Pirate Dave? You should have. Alright, so we're going to the eggs. Put these bad boys in the fridge. You've never had tiramisu? Surveil! Gotta try some, dude. It's delicious. I mean, like, like, what's your, uh, like, what's your, like, dessert? Like, like, do you like sweets at all? Like, are, are you, are you a sweets guy? Like, what's your, like, what's your sweet status? Do you like chocolate? I don't think tiramisu is that sweet. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean it is sweet though. Yeah, no, yeah, that's fine. No, I mean, it's just still frozen beef patties that you put on a hamburger bun with all kinds of delicious condiments. How do you get it? I don't know, man. Do you have like a like like a nice Italian restaurant where you live? Actually, it's weird. Like, I, there's a Greek restaurant also that has that really good. I mean, that's I mean, Greece and Italy are you know are kind of close, so not crazy that they have tiramisu, but yeah, it's like a creamy, chocolatey, it's like high coffee. Um, like, uh, these are called lady fingers. This is what like the. I mean, there's like layers of these guys. You dip it in coffee and like a rum mixture and you layer it with like a creamy whipped cream kind of thing going on. It's delicious, dude. It's delicious. Oh, I love creme brulee. It's, dude, okay, if you like creme brulee, you would love tiramisu. Because, like, I mean, creme brulee is basically just like, it's like, it's like, it's like so this right here, like, in, in, in this, in this bowl is basically creme brulee. Or gonna be in a second. Um... It's like a vanilla-y, creamy, custardy kind of thing. It's delicious. Yeah. I should have got this water boiling before I started the stream. Honestly. And that's fine. That's good. 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 All right. So now I'm going to add... I'm going to add three quarters cup whole milk to our egg and sugar mix. So mix that in there. We're just going to cook this until it begins to like get like foamy. It's going to kind of boil a little bit. Not boil, but like get like air into it. Hey, Wang Sack, you cook food? Uh, Wang Sack, tonight we're doing two two dishes, man. We're getting crazy over here. Uh, what are we gonna plate the stroganoff on? That we didn't buy a cool bowl. We do like like that like red platter. What do you got that? No, no, you, you, that. That, that platter is dead to Spody. What's the white plate? Boop, boop, boop. 
We're going seven. We're going seven on the old burner here. Yeah, so this we just want to uh, get like up to 10. I think like 170 is kind of where we want it to hit. So, let's go. so while we're doing that, also guys, if you guys buy whipped cream, you shouldn't. Homemade whipped cream is a bazillion times better than that shite you can buy at the store. So whipped cream. Let's talk some whipped cream. You get some cream and you whip it. And once again, if you guys didn't know this, I love this kitchen appliance. It does everything. And tonight it's gonna to make some sick whipped cream. Uh, Sir Bell, I, sh I, sh I should do creme brulee. Uh, this is th oh, this is our first um, dessert stream. I should do creme brulee though. Creme brulee is delicious, and I like to I like to burn stuff with a torch, so it's you know, freaking win win. Freaking win win. Also, guys, cheers to you. Little Noah Hill, a little bit of beer, a little bit of dessert, a little bit of beef shot with an half. So cheers, man. Hope you guys are having a nice Sunday. Oh, Wangsack, I am pretty good at food. Thank you, Sir Bell, for uh, saying that. I appreciate that. Oh, you had the creme brulee in France? Oh, dude. Hell yeah. Hey, we. Yeah. Sir Bell, I didn't know you were in the Navy, dude. I, I did not know that. I mean, I knew you were working for like law enforcement now, but I, I didn't know you were in the, the, the military. Thank you for your service, man. Appreciate it, as always. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you told me, but my memory is not great, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, got all the creme in there. So, whipped cream. Oh, shit, I'm not in the middle of this either. Dude, five years in Navy, cool, man. Well, dude, thank you for your service, bro. Dude, appreciate that. A little bit of, like, a teaspoon and that. Like, a teaspoon, maybe a little more of this. Like that. And, like, guys, buy, like, good vanilla. Like, this, is, like, this isn't great, but, like, make sure it's, like, pure vanilla extract, you know? Like, vanilla flavoring, get out of here. It's garbage. Oh, it should be simmering now. So cool. Yeah, you want to keep stirring your cups in here, too. Taste this on. Oh, it's nice. hard to get warm. Delicious. All right, so whipped cream, like like whipped cream with this guy, is a nightmare. Don't don't even don't don't. I mean, you can do it, but don't don't do it. Go buy one of these guys. This is this is the way to go. This is the uh, this is the move here. Okay. Start on the one, the lowest setting to begin with. Make sure, it's, make sure it's locked in. It'd be a mess. Which of you guys would like it if it wasn't locked in and went spraying, spraying whipped cream everywhere, but at home, make sure it's locked in. Uh, I'm gonna do like uh, half a cup of sugar, maybe. For this. No, not actually, no, that's way too much. Like a quarter cup. A quarter cup, it's plenty. Because like you're adding, you got sugar here, you got sugar in the lady fingers. Can't make it too sweet, can you? Is that, is that even like, like a thing? Too sweet? Marshmallow cheese. All right, so. Eh. Gotta do this now. Gotta hold this in, 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 in this. You wanna start off on like on one and then go up to three. Don't start off on three. But by hand, this is a freaking nightmare, dude. It's way easier doing this. Also, watch this. Double whiskey. Guys, I'm a pro. Okay. And basically, like, what this double boiler does, it just makes, like, the eggs not turn into, like, scrambled eggs, you know? Yeah. The double whip. I keep scraping the sides of your bowl over here while it's doing its thing. Am I, I splattering through everywhere? Probably. A little bit of that action, a little bit of this action. Also, guys, if you're lactose intolerant, this is not the stream for you. Because we are going straight lactose all day on this stream. Yeah, this is literally just do this. Like, buy one of these, just do this. Feel like wearing yourself out.
Like, but this, this, like, homemade whipped cream tastes so much better than any store bought whipped cream in the, in the world. Also, if you, if you start on, like, a low speed and then go to a higher speed, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll last longer in, in your fridge. Down to two. I think two is probably good enough. I feel like it's, it's a little, I didn't pick a big enough a bowl, honestly, so I'm gonna splatter right now by the wood by the whipped cream. I'm just gonna let it happen now, it's fine. I'm gonna guard the equipment though because, you know. Ah, I was bored with those lactose. You were born in Wisconsin? Yeah, dude, dude. Cheese shirts? Oh my god, the best. Getting whipped here. It's getting real whippy. It's one of these pretty stiff peaks, too. So. Alright, we gotta take a break here for a second, though, and check on our. Gotta focus on this for a second. Like, this is like, this is like a lot of your flavor in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. That, like, that is so rich and good, it's crazy. It's crazy. But, like, it's already kind of getting frothy. I'll, I'll probably do, like, do a do a temp check here real fast in a second. Let's go and finish off the whipped cream. I think that's good for now. There you go. There you go. <laughs> is, that, is that Hope? <laughs> What's up, Hope? Oh, it is getting whipped. Tonight's stream, a lot of whipping happening. Oh, we're going to three, actually, guys. It's getting crazy over here. Woo! The torque. The RPM. Crazy. Wait, what did, wait, what did Power you say? <laughs> Dang. Shots fired, Italians. That's so loud. Is it so loud? Should, uh, mute me for like two minutes. Thanks for the call, Nader Man. Neighbor Man. Nader. Nader Man. Uh, Hope, that is not a head man. This is that bandana. Okay. Okay. Well, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Stiff, getting, getting peaky. Hey, guys, for real though, if you don't like, you're not like a, like a lactose, uh, person... So this whole this whole night is not is like not for you. I know that's so loud, dude. Is that so loud? I'm sorry, guys. It's so loud. Almost, almost done. Almost, almost whipped up. I think, I think, I think we're good here. Oh, no. Whoopsie. Got a little splatter, no big deal. All right. Okay, I'm yelling now, I think. Okay, good, we're good. All right, whipped cream donezo. What's up here? Okay, all right, all right, we're done. We're done with that. Guys, look at that whipped cream, though. Look at that whipped cream. This spatula, though. Look at this. Oh, baby. It is whipped up. Yeah, beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Delicious. Yeah, dude. Dude, Pirate D, I'm the same way, man. Nader, man. I, sorry, sorry, Nader, man. Sorry, bud. It's, it's, now it should be over with, though, so it should be, should be A-OK. -okay. Okay. Let's do a little temp check on our Savion here. Looking for 170. Ah, it's out of there. This is broken? There we go. 
slow. Yeah, not quite. This was this thing. This thing's going crazy. Oh, it's getting close though. Not quite. We're like 160. So I'm gonna go for another few minutes. What kind of whipper is you? That's a great question, Vader man. What kind of whipper is, is is you? And then I'll gauge my response on your whipping style. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> It sounds like it's a it's a bay question. Not gonna lie. So let me know. You answer first. You answer first. Is that still peach, you think? Oh yeah. So stiff. So easy. Alright, pop that in the fridge for a second though. Let it cool off. Yeah, so once this gets up to 170, we're gonna pop in our mouse pound. And if you guys don't know Palm, basically it's like Italian cream cheese. Or possibly Greek cream cheese originally. Don't know right now. I have been lied to. But yeah, we need... Uh, I call for four. I usually go a little lighter on it because it's just so rich. It's crazy. Too rich. You're a medium whippersnapper? Okay. I like a... I'd say I like a medium liver snapper as well. Yeah. Right? Large? Oh. Wait, I'm not sure what that means still. Whipper snapper is like. Uh, you know what? Mo I, moving on. I think of it like a stamp. Yeah. Like a yeah, so I'm like I'm like I'm like a large whipper snapper? Yeah, like ah! I mean, you're definitely a whipper snapper. True. It's true. Alright, then uh, large. Uh Nate, Nader Man, Nader Man 86. Cheers to you guys again. Do you want to keep whiskey in this because you want to keep the like the air going back into it, keep the temperature regulated. You don't want to make scrambled eggs. That was, that's not good. For 170, do we have 170? This thing's not acting right, dude. But it's, it's like stalling out. Ooh, we're so close to 170 right now. So close. Same question, but I, but, but I didn't. Or else, or, or, or is he 86 years old? Because he's using terms like whippersnapper. Ooh, I, hope that's <laughs> I, hope that's I, hope, I hope that's true as well. Oh, the immersion blender. Yeah, uh, no, that's like a. I think that's like the biggest. I think that's the biggest one you can get, isn't it? Yeah, like this is like this is a, a pretty yeah, this is pretty hefty one, man. The, the KitchenAid. I mean, 120 volts. It's pretty. I mean, it gets it's pretty hefty, man. It's pretty hefty. I would say I would say at least a large, at least a large. Sally and the kitten, what's up? Yeah, Nader man. I would say it's I'd say it's like the larger. Uh, immersion blender, yeah, for sure. All right, let's check our Savion again. Oh, kitten, dude, so sorry you missed that. Like literally, you came in. Um, <laughs> yeah, you came in like right as we ended last week, and I was I was very sad by that. I was saddened. Uh, full, also full diaper. <laughs> I don't like I don't like your name, but. Uh, we, we do not. We do not open our house Airbnb, but that is that is crazy. Boom, 170. We're at it. What's up, Rika? 86-year-old gamer? Hey, man, awesome, dude. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, there, uh, there, like, there, like, there really is like a, uh, like a, uh, um, like a, like a granddad gamer guy. 
Guys, sorry, my grandma, mom, and dad is going crazy right now. <laughs> is, that, is that better? Yes. Jeez Louise. <laughs> hey, thank you, full diaper. That's, I mean, it's, it's a funny name, but gross. <laughs> it's funny, yet disgusting. All right, that out of there. We're done with that. All right, so let that, let that cool off for a second. I just got to put it in a bowl of hot cold water. One second, please, over here at the ice, at the old, the old ice maker. I don't know if I've ever opened an ice maker. One second, let's get some ice. Killing my, uh, killing the bacteria. This is not going to fit in there at all. Where's the, where's the, the giant bowl? Oh, here it is. Come here, giant bowl. I need you in my life. Okay, there we go. That's your big boy. That is your big boy. Okay, nice. Close, please, guys. Close, please, please. All right, so we're gonna put our ah! hot bowl. In the in the cold bowl, and then do this basically. Yeah, cool. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Pumpkin pie? Ooh, I do like a pumpkin pie. Um, we, I mean, we could do that like around like uh, you know Thanksgiving time. My dude, my dad makes a killer pumpkin and pecan pie. That's his. That's his specialty. That's your lasta bowl. <laughs> this is my lasta bowl too. I actually, I think I bought this. We brought that. To her house, didn't we? Oh, oh, hopefully, and that's her. Yes, this is literally, I literally, I think I bought this just to go to your house and make lobster with, like, no, like, no joke. <laughs> like, no freaking joke. All right, let's go and add our cheese. Where's my, uh, I have a spatula here. All right, so, once you're summing out, like, once your custard has hit, like, 170, it's good to go. So we're just going to cool it down on the ice, and now we're going to add the mascarpone cheese to it, because... Like this, like this is like eggs and sugar and vanilla and all that stuff in one. It's just so decadent and rich. It's so freaking good, man. It's crazy good. Crazy good. Spinacopita? Wait. Spinach pie? Sp oh, sp oh uh, that sounds like spinacopita. Honestly, too, yeah. Which is like um, spinach and feta and like cream and stuff. I never made spinacopita, but that oh, dude, that stuff's also delicious. Wait, hey, Parody, you oh, you are Greek, right? I, I I keep I don't know why I keep talking about your like nationality every freaking stream, but well, you you are Greek, right? Oh, spinacopita, yeah. The spinacopita is so good, though. I, I love that stuff. I mean, dude, like we, me and Spody both love Greek food it's, like so much. I eat, I eat Greek food all the time. I mean, it's, 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 so, it's so nice. It's like a salad and like an awesome meat and like some good cheeses and like it's just simple and like and just amazing, which is, why I, which is why I'm a huge fan of it. All right, get the guy. Uh, Did you see Wyatt Bones' question? What's your go-to? Oh, sorry. No, I didn't. Go-to dinner party slash potluck dish. Ooh, potluck dish. Well, dinner party and potluck to me are different. Dinner party, I go kind of extravagant. I like, so, I threw a dinner party, like, recently with, like, eight people. And I like, I like a meal where you can kind of, like, serve yourself. So I did, like, um, I did the euros, right? Taco bar? Oh, I did taco bar that night. But I, it's like, tacos are a good one because you're kind of like, oh, here's, like, a bunch of choices. Kind of make your own food. That's fun to me. I like that kind of style of, like, food, you know? But also, like, um... I do this like this whole like like Euro meal where you like make like a tower of chicken and you like all kind of like slice your chicken and like make your own kind of like make your own kind of meal. Every guest makes their own meal. I I think that's really fun. So like everyone's kind of doing the you know like making it how they like it a little bit, but usually the stuff that like you made. So. But yeah, we have done 
the chicken gyro. We did that on stream. Yeah, we did it on stream. Um, I don't know if you can get to it now. I gotta post those videos. Yeah, we gotta put a lot of videos on YouTube. Like, that is just so freaking good, it's, it is insane. It's like a cheesy... So that's so good. Actually, no, I know no, it's weird. It needs like one pinch of salt. Salt? Yeah. A little bit of salt makes every sweet thing better. Write that down. Oh, your parents are in Greece right now? Lucky. No taco emote? That is very sad. All right, that's, uh, that's good to go. That is good to go. Yeah, we also hope it's weird, like we're using the same bowl like to cool down other things in it, because this bowl was just to use to cool down, cook a lobster. It's weird tonight. It was gonna be lobster stream. We we talked long and hard about doing a, a lobster stream. That was a request from last week to do lobsters. By the way, thanks for the follow, Wyatt Bone. Wyatt Bone, thanks for the follow, bud. <laughs> got full diaper, got Wyatt Bone up in here. You guys' names are amazing. All right, so let's start building the tiramisu. Let's do this. All the components are prepared. Okay, so I need my pan over here. The La Crusade. Uh, sponsored by La Crusade. They give me all kinds of free stuff. I'm kidding, they don't waste their dough because they're amazing and expensive. So, how do you build a tiramisu? Here, here. Alright, so one thing, you don't want to like uh, get the, like knock the air out of your whipped cream. So you kind of, like when you add it to your, your custard, you want to just like just fold it in. You don't want to like whip it too much. So, Let's get this guy, get this guy. We're just gonna ladle it into the Sauvignon and just fold it in, just fold it together. Nothing crazy, just incorporate. Okay, okay. Wants to be nice and airy, fluffy, light. So get in there whipped cream. That's probably, that's probably enough. And that's probably enough. And it's kind of like fold it in. Just fold it in. Fold the roux. So we'll, we probably will need all that whipped cream. It does deflate a bit just in the stuff here. Yeah, it's going to add it all. Let's get it in there. We're probably going to not use all this, though, which is sad. I went a little heavy on it, honestly. But it's what ifs. It's what ifs. Okay, get in there, whipped cream. Ah! A little splatter there, guys. A little cream splatter. Okay, okay, looking sick though. All right, so we haven't talked about the other components. So lady fingers are the other component to this whole dish. You basically get your lady fingers, which are these little cookies. We're gonna dip it in some uh, coffee rum mixture. And that's gonna be kind of like how you build your layers. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. I mean, I don't like to, I mean, it doesn't have to be like fully mixed together, honestly. Um, you just want it to be like incorporated, where you, like, when you smear it on your lady fingers, it's a nice mix. This is looking good, though. Just want to get it where it's just kind of mixed together, because it'll, it'll incorporate like in the pan. So it'll stay nice and fluffy. Yeah, that's looking pretty good, though. Just kind of going to the bottom, turning it over, going to the bottom, turning it over. That's kind of it, kind of folding it, you know? Boom. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. All right, let that chill for a second. Put it in the fridge when we're doing the first layer of lady fingers. We're gonna drop this whole bowl of stuff here. Don't say that. <laughs> I, I think I would literally cry. That would be a, be a massive tragedy. If I drop that whole bowl of delicious stuff. 
Mo, make your own lady fingers? That's crazy talk, man. Man, no, I haven't. Like how, like, like, how hard is that? All right, we need rum. Also, welcome to a side of rum. Because we're drinking some of this awesome. Actually, this is really good. I bought this like a, like a few months ago, like, uh, well, like a year ago, like for the first time. And I'm, I'm, I'm not like a huge like, fan of rum. This stuff is so delicious. It's like so sweet. I mean, so rum is made from sugar cane, right? And you, know, you can tell. This is like so sweet. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Cheers. So don't go too crazy on your rum. Uh, let's put hit me with a uh, shot glass, please. I'm gonna measure it out before I pour it in there. I mess up. Uh, what's the name of this? It's um, it's Diplomatica. It's actually uh, Venezuelan. Um, which I don't know if they're like really known for their rum, but like it's uh, actually has yeah, a little like a little international double gold from the rum conference. It's it's pretty tasty. I really like it. But like you don't need, you don't, like, don't add a lot of rum because if you get add too much rum, it's gonna be like too rummy, you know. So I had like a third of a shot glass, a couple tablespoons. Should should be good. Oh, oh wait, drink more? No, I mean, there's more in the glass. I can relax, relax. Oh, pirate did yeah. Are you a, a rum fan? Good Greek slug rum. Well, there's to you, Bear Pirate D. All right, so we got our lady fingers. We got this old pack, so use these first, obviously. Is it okay? Is it really good, dude? I I I, I literally bought it. It's, it's like forty bucks, like nothing, like not too crazy expensive, and it, like look, it looked cool. I was like, I'll try it. I, I was like, this is seriously good. Uh, oh, 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 I also just got it, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are dumb, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, so the thing about this, though, is you don't want to, like, you don't want like, to, like, like, soak your lady finger. It's got to be just, like a, like, like, a dip. So this is just, um, it's, like, three cups. Of, no, I'm sorry. It's, like, two cups of espresso and a few tablespoons of rum. So you want, like, it would be, like, pretty, like, pretty coffee-y. No, I think we need more rum. I can't taste rum at all. Have a little bit of splash. A more, like, like, ah, like that. It's good. Okay. Should be good there. Should be good. Yeah. So you want it to be like, like mostly coffee flavored. This is very strong coffee. Good, yeah. You can kind of taste the rum in there now. But you want to like be like, be like boom, boom. Like that, that's it. Like you got to see like how fast that was. Like you do not, you don't want to get them too soggy. It's just like dip. Then out. Don't like drop them in there because they will get super sog and not good. So we gotta like coat the lady fingers in this little coffee mixture. Cause like these are super dry. Like like look how like this like look, look look how dry these are. Like see that? I mean it's it's super dry. So like this will absorb like all that all that liquid. So, but too much it'll be it'll be a mushy mess. No, but more and more what, later, man? More, more rum? I gotta, gotta make dinner next, man. I gotta, gotta, I gotta taste myself. <laughs> the enabler, no doubt. He's like, I want to see you get blackout drunk on stream. One day I'll do a, a blackout fried chicken stream and burn the house down. That's not funny. That's great content, guys. That's not funny. Think of the views I would get. So man. Okay, so you just want to make a nice layer of the cookies here. But you can lay them, like, other directions if you want to. I like, I like this way. I like to make little bits over here. You know. That's what I like to do. But you can do this, this piece however you want to. Just as long as you have a nice layer of cookie. Nice cookie layer. So we'll snap these in half. This guy's going to fill in this gap. I may go one guy like this. Uh, I feel dirty doing that, but we're doing it. I can't, I can't, I, I just can't do it. Honestly, I just can't do it. No, no, no. I can't do it, Spody. There we go. There we go. That's it. Eh. 
See now, and now, now I know like the perfect size to fit in there. So I guess so. I got this. I got this. And like this is not perfect. Like it doesn't even matter. It's fine. Oh, uh, dude. Well, co I mean, co is coconut rum even like really rum? Honestly, I I say nay. I say nay. On the blackout, I know, I know, dude. Then I'd be like, oh my god, this guy is such a committed streamer. He burned his house down for views. Man, I got a savage. I only said it because, like, like I only said it because frying stuff is my, like, big fear. Like, I'm worried about always a fire starting because it's terrifying. Okay. Layer one of the fangus down. I feel like this guy right here didn't get quite enough cookie though, so I'm gonna kind of schmoosh him. Put a little schmoosh there, a little schmoosh here. Get in there, kooky. All right, layer one done. How nice that layer looks though. I say that's like a pretty stellar layer of lady fingers right there. What do you guys think? What kind of uniform? Pat myself on the back. Got a bottle of Malibu rum for the whole thing in 20... Oh, my God, yeah. No, dude, I, I was in college. I um, I, I wasn't, like, like a, like, a big liquor drinker uh, in my early college years. And uh, we had, like, a party, and my buddies, like, got, like, a bottle, like, some really... It was it was called... It was called Beams 8-Star uh, bourbon. But it wasn't actually bourbon. What it was... It was like neutral grain spirits, like Everclear, with bourbon flavoring and caramel coloring. So it was like super high. It was like 180 proof, like just like straight, literally like moonshine. And um, and I had like I had a flask of that and like a, and like a coke, and I was just like taking shots. The like the first hour of the party. Nope, done, done for. Got destroyed. <laughs> Drove home also. And that was smart. That's a smart call you make in college. Luckily, I didn't kill myself or anyone else, but, yeah, so. Yeah, mis yeah mistake made. So, that's why I only drink good bourbons now. Oh, what's up, Twitch Saw? Uh, right now I'm making tiramisu, man. Yeah, we're doing, uh, we're doing like, a, 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 a dual dish stream. We're doing tiramisu first, and then we're going to make a nice beef stroganoff. So, right, right now we're on our first layer of the tiramisu. So yeah, put your first layer of uh, cookies down. Then put a nice even layer of the of the cream sauce. Cream sauce? That's not really a sauce, is it? Of your Sauvignon whipped cream mix. Go to the edges with it. I mean, we could probably go pretty thick here on this layer, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Spody says yes. Go go pretty thick on this layer of stuff. Looks about right. Put another little scoop in there, smear it around, even it up. Cause we gotta make one more layer of that, and then one more layer of the creme on the very top top. So a little more of here. Like this is a little light. How's that look? Delicious. Good. Ah, let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and do it up. All right. Just be even with it. Pretty much like make sure it's a nice even layer, right? Oh, I think I missed it. Thanks for the follow. Uh I'm going to say HP Follows. That's your moon name. <laughs> you guys are coming in with the solid names and I know. That's a really funny one there, Horn. Funny. 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 Inappropriate, but funny. I, I approve of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. He knows. He knows. <laughs> Throw the cap up. Your new name is HP <laughs> <laughs> You're a wizard! A pornography. Yes, Twitch. We, yeah, we, yeah, we get it. Twitch. Oh, okay. Okay. I gotcha. Horn? I, I'll, I'll call you Horn, personally. Poisonally. Alright, so, after you have your layer of cookie, layer of trim, another layer of cookie. <laughs> Thank you, though, Twitch. Thank you for... Yeah, Thank why you for that. Um, it was uh, it was espresso and rum. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, espresso and rum, or any like like strong coffee. You just want to have, have a nice coffee flavor in there. 
The bad thing about me making this is I want to cut a piece tonight, which I'm, I'm going to do, but it needs like a couple hours in the fridge, so that, that step is going to be uh, slightly abandoned because, you know, you know. I could probably use like, like a little bit of a second. I, mean, I don't know. I'm gonna, let me let me see. Actually, yeah, go and, go and give me some more cow pee. It's a splasheroo. A little splasheroo. Also, a little splasheroo of the rum. Because what's up? Uh, you. I am not gonna tell you that. And if, if you're also if you're ten, you shouldn't be on Twitch <laughs> against us terms of service. Is that? I think so. Wow. I think it'd be like sixteen to make a to, like to make an account or something. Power D, back me up on this. Panando, what's up, E? Dude, I saw you hop on this morning streaming Panando early, man. We were at uh, we were we were we were out and about though, so I couldn't I couldn't tune. Or was that yesterday? Mm. Thirteen. There you go. You're violating the terms of service. All right, boom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. We got some more coffee. I didn't, I didn't taste this. I didn't taste this mix though. Fourteen hours yesterday. Oh my god, dude! Wait, uh, so like, are you off work like starting today? Oh, Smith, Smith, Smith! I made another English dish. I want you to go check out. I made Scotch eggs last weekend. How do you feel about a nice Scotch egg? I'll tell you how, like, how I feel about them. They're amazing. <laughs> My first time making them, and I was like, oh yeah, I, now I get why these are a thing. These are freaking delicious. All right, yeah, so guys, you gotta just, yeah, make another, like, we're, we're, we're basically just doing what we did on the first layer over again. Oh really? Like uh, Twitch? Like what do you eat? Like otherwise? You you eat, like you say eat out, mostly. Just fast food? Come on, man! You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't eat just fast food. That's not good for you. If you stop doing that, you probably could stop going on diets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is also not good for you right here. This is this is terrible for you. This is terrible. Wait, Bell's French fries. What's up? Oh, Taco Bell's French fries. I mean, it has cheese dip, so like, I'm I'm not opposed, honestly. You would die if you tried to do what? Did Smith ever answer me about about, about Scotch eggs? Ever tried beef? Oh, dude, I also want to try that, Wyatt. I'm thinking about doing that on stream, uh, making beef Wellington. Uh, that's that's a tough one, man. That's a that's a hell of a recipe right there. And like, if you mess up one part of that, you just waste it all much. I don't know all this food. What Smith is a jackass. <laughs> <That's> so harsh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I like like he's probably peeing. Like me and Panando and Smith are like you know like we're like we're like we're like bros, okay? So I can talk shit about him. You lean down for the summer, oh, okay? I got you. I mean, dude. I mean, like, like there's. I mean, there's this like nutritionist scientist who did this thing on his own, like in his own life. He ate like straight garbage for like six months. He ate like Twinkies and like all like straight sh that garbage. And but he didn't eat over two thousand calories and lost a ton of weight. Um, like it doesn't matter really what. I mean, it does matter what you eat. Like it does matter. Cause like, like nutrition matters but as far as like staying like thin like you can eat whatever you want as long as your like caloric intake is lower than your caloric output you know which is crazy but it is it is true i mean you shouldn't eat fast food every day but whatever yeah yeah you shouldn't eat that stuff yeah no it's terrible it's terrible terrible stuff I'm gonna put half this guy here. Get in there. Put half that Okay. This layer is looking good though. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. Looking nice. Looking nice. All right. One more layer of cookie. Completed. Take it 
Move, move, Lair. Get in, come on. I need like a little gas when I fill, like this guy looks good. This guy maybe. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. We're done with the with the coffee mix. Should I drink this? That's not, I'm gonna taste it. Oh, it's pretty good actually. Tastes like coffee and crumbs of cookie and, and rum. Like, how is that not how's that not good? Okay. Okay. Rum topped off. Get out of there. All right. One more layer of the crumbs. Yeah, we made, I made way too much drink. <laughs> Stoney's face was one of not mad about that. All right. So stir it up a little bit. Make sure it's incorporated still. And then, yeah, just do another layer of this stuff. Yeah, right? Totally would drink that. Coffee, rum, little cookie bits? Come on. Dope. Uh, Panando, like, uh, uh, what were you guys, like, what were you playing for 13 hours? I think, I think that's when I saw you, you were playing Battlegrounds, right? If I recall correctly. Okay. A little thin over here. This is looking nice, though. I will say so myself. This is looking very nice. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. All right, that's pretty much tiramisu, guys. I'm gonna top with a little bit of cocoa powder. All right, that should be good. That is to the top. We have a while left every custard. I'm gonna throw away right now. <gasps> Don't you dare. That is delicious. That is delicious. Wait, oh, Silent Sentry does? With that emote game? Alright, so now we're gonna to top it with a little bit of cocoa powder. I don't have a great sifting method, but I use like two of these guys, and it's kinda of like, be careful. Just like lightly tap a roux on this. Because it'll come out in clumps and it's not great, but it's like a little bit of a nice coating here. It's gonna move it around like you so. Just two 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 strainers here, is it? Let's change hands. That's weirdly mesmerizing. Right? Be careful. I'll be satisfying. It's a nice even coating of the cocoa here. Okay. I like a nice, I think I like a pretty heavy coat of the cocoa on that, but I think too much. Make sure it's even, all the spots are covered in with it. Okay, that sounds good. What do you guys think? Chairman Sue, look good? Delicious. Nice. All right. Let's top it off here with a little lid and put her in the fridge. I will show you the cross section in a couple of, in like an hour, right? We make the beef stroganoff. Stroganoff. I wonder if I drop this, that'd be even more of a tragedy. I'm not joking about that, huh? I may want to put this into a smaller bowl real fast though, is that okay? Real quick. Cause we gotta put it in the fridge, cause you know, it is a lot of dairy stuff. We made way too much cream. <laughs> what? We made way too much cream. Okay, good, good. Okay, put this in the fridge room. All right, on to the stroganoff. Oh, you want to you you taste some of that? Spody literally just took that out of my hands to taste it. Okay, boom. 
Coco is a good movie. What is that movie? I don't know if that even is. It's a Pixar. Oh, Timberson was good. Nice. Thank you, Cervell. Appreciate that, Matt. All right, so now on to the entree. Oh, wait. Oh, it's the Dios de los Muertos movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is a good movie. Well, that's all Coco? Yeah. I literally would never, I'm, I'm not sure why I would never like know that. I don't know why. Dude, uh, I mean, uh, so why? I, I, I didn't go to culinary school. I worked in restaurants for a long time. Um, and every chef that I worked for, not every chef, but a lot of chefs were like, culinary school is kind of stupid. Like, I mean, like, you pay, it's so expensive. Culinary school is so expensive. Um, and you get out, and you don't make good money. So start, like, you don't make a lot of money, like, working in kitchens as, like, a, like, a new, you know, line cook. You make, yeah, I mean, you're an hourly employee, you know what I mean? So, like, all, all that debt is kind of crazy. So, every, a lot of chefs that I work for told me to just go work everywhere. Go, go, like, go to a restaurant, work there six months, quit. To the restaurant, six months, quit. Because like, because you're gonna learn so much working, and you get paid for that, you know. And like, you're like, you're getting like a real education, you know. Culinary school, like, we learn like 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 all day, like a lot of basics, like how to saute, how to make sauces, right. like, like yeah, like how to make rice, you know, like all these like basic skills. But as far as like working at a restaurant, it doesn't really like, teach you that, uh, from what I understand. But like I said, I didn't go there, so I would have loved to have gone there. But there is a lot of hugely successful chefs who never went to culinary school and are doing great. So, I mean, it's really, I mean, if, if you have the money and the, and the time, then do it. Like, like that, it, it's not going to hurt you, but in a lot of cases, is it going to help you? I'm not sure, you know? I don't know. I don't know. But, let's move on to beef stroke now. And speaking of, like, amazing chefs, so this is a recipe I got from Thomas Keller. If you guys know Thomas Keller, he's amazing. This is his ad, uh, uh, ad hoc at home cookbook. It's great. Um, it's a beautifully written book. The pictures are amazing, and Thomas Keller is uh, is a god. So, re recommend this book. But we're gonna do his recipe for the beef show now. So yeah, so yeah, that's what that, that's what we're gonna do right now. Oh yeah, French Laundry, dude. He's he is the man. I would say possibly the best restaurant in the country. French Laundry. It's probably it's probably pretty accurate, right? All right, Spody. I need you to hand me some appliances. I need the food processor, please. All right, so a large part of beef stroganoff is mushrooms. We have a ton of them. We have two pounds of mushrooms in this, in this dish. Oh, uh, what is uh, what is La Bernardine? Thank you. I've actually uh, never even uh, heard of that. Well, yeah, like that uh, that book, uh, the Charlie Trotter book, Raw, and uh, the Food Lab by uh, um, J. Kenji Lopez Alt is that's like the three, like the trinity of like really good uh, cookbooks. So that's my my recommendations personally. Okay. Chairman Sousa, out of here. All right, sick. Yeah, so first step, we got to get these mushrooms pureed. Oh, Aaron Grippert. Okay, yeah, yeah, nice. Nice. Oh, uh, where is that? Like, what, like, uh, like, what city is that in? New York? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I've never heard of that. Actually, I, I didn't check that out. I'd say French Laundry is like the, uh, like the more like, like the older school. It's like, it's, it's, uh, Eric Ripper's a uh, younger guy, right? If I recall correctly. 
Yeah, so mushrooms, like, you don't want to, like, you don't want to wash them. Oh, these may have to wash, though. They are very dirty. You don't want to wash mushrooms for the most part because, like, a lot of that flavor is, like, in, like, in, like the spore. And when you wash, you're going to wash the spores away. These are pretty dirty, so. May want to give a little rinsey rinse. Okay, yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. So, Tyler Keller's, I'd say, older than that. Older than, like, middle age. He's probably, like, in his 50s, I'd say. I think, I don't know. I'm just not quite sure. Where's the colander? Where's the colander? Ow! <laughs> it's fine down here, guys. Don't worry. All right, we'll use uh, this. We we'll use this gag. We we'll use this gag to watch the mushrooms. <clears throat> yeah, these are pretty, uh, pretty dirty. So. No one likes dirt in their beef stroganoff. I'm pretty sure that's like a thing. We've been rinsed for a second there. Okay, let's get our pot hot now. Go get these, uh, well, no, it's wait a second, it's fine. Hey, wait, oh, he was, oh, he was, a, he found Bourdain? Oh, 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 Thomas Keller did, yeah, yeah. Not, no, not, not Eric Ripper, right? I know, I know, that's crazy, huh? Some of that dirt was so thick on these mushrooms. I mean, they, they grow in the dirt, so, you know, not a surprise as well dirt on mushrooms. All right. There we go. About like this many, guys. Oh, he's the one who found it. Oh, found him. Oh, found him dead. Oh, really? Crazy. So he was with him in, where, it was in Spain, right? Oh, what's up? It said, ha ha, I bored him dying. It's probably rude. Did you not see Sir Bell's coming? No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it was weird timing, though. Talk about bored and dying. You're like, ha ha, hilarious. <laughs> France. Oh, 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 oh. He, was, he was in France? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Like, literally, um, like, I mean, I read Bourdain's book, like, when I was first, like, when I was first, like, working at restaurants, and it was a life changer. But like the lessons I learned in that are the, like I think are the ones I think he ignored. You know, like you can't you can't be doing drugs and drinking like 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 the chef culture is so heavy on the booze and the drugs and stuff. And like there's gotta be gotta be some white guys that rise above that. You can't get too crazy in that stuff, you know. As I'm caught aside of bourbon, like maybe ironic, but still. Hey, what's up, Meister? How's it going? We're on, uh, we're on step two. We're on dish two of our, uh, of our meal prep tonight, guys. We did, we did tiramisu. It's in, it's in the fridge, chilling. Uh, now we're doing the entree, the beef stroganoff. off. What? It's chilling. Hilarious. <laughs> it's cooling a lot, John. It's chilling and it's cooling like off. It's hanging out. It's hanging out. It's chilling. It's maxing, relaxing, cooling, shooting some b-balls outside of the school. Honestly, that's like what it's doing. Oh, nice! What are you, uh, what are you, what are you cooking? What you cooking over there? Thanks for the follow, Fat H. <laughs> I can't even see the name. We're gonna go with Fat H. <laughs> oh, this is something not appropriate. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, dude, oh, yeah, we're up to, yeah, we made tiramisu, now we're making some beef stroganoff. Thomas Keller's beef stroganoff, also probably sick. Oh, oh, fat hedonist. Okay, that's that's no, that's that's tough fun. 
to someone who's in like the oh, dirty side of life, I, you know? I read it wrong. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hedonist, yeah. Hedonist. What's that mean? I mean, I think like most hedonists should be fat, right? I mean, like if you're in the, if you're like into hedonism, you're you're into like eating it's all like, the food. It's like someone who's like glutton in every aspect. Right. Like just right. I go towards life, I eat the most, do the most, whatever. Eat the most. Right. What's the headband for? Uh, it's for keeping the hair out of the food. Uh, it's a hairnet, basically. What is, oh, dude, Mr. What is that? Malikia Soup and Chicken? What is that? Dude, well, that's weird, because next, next Sunday, I think we're going to do a soup and salad uh, stream. Cool. Yeah, so like, let me know like, what, that, what that soup's about. All right, I, I also, like, how do you say that? I can't even pronounce that. Is that a pound of mushrooms? Show a couple more. Ah! Got like four more. Because we got to have some for the other stuff. Whipped up some fajitas. Dude, fajitas? Are you kidding me? Delicious. Fajitas? Doesn't, ain't got to be fancy. What's up, Amy? How's it going? Dude, I love chicken noodle soup. It's so good. <laughs> it's Egyptian. A, oh, cool. A, 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 an Egyptian soup? Cool, man. Are are, are you Egyptian? Uh, I have... Like, you mean like... Do you mean like Nashville hot chicken, Wyatt, uh, Wyatt Bone? Also, uh, Wang Sack and Wyatt Bone talking back to back, both having blue names and a W in the beginning is confusing to me. It's hard to, like, separate them. Uh, I have actually. So, actually, one of Spody's uh, former co workers, should, should, uh, should we plug the Coop's Hot Chicken Paste? Nah. Well, it's up there somewhere. But one of her former uh, co workers uh, actually uh, uh, markets like a hot chicken paste. And yeah, I, I have fried chicken. And you basically, so you get like the paste, put like a bit, like, like, like something to a bowl, get some of like the hot oil, pour it over the paste, kind of mix those so it makes like an actual, like, an actual sauce you can brush on and brush it over the chicken. Uh, it will, it will, it will wreck you. Hardcore. Last time I did that, I got destroyed. But dude, I, I love the spice and I love the chicken. So, okay, so stroking off. Uh, apparently, I missed the the bowl there with that mushroom. We're gonna puree these guys into um, uh, into a into a puree, into a puree, guys. So, and then we're gonna cook it here. Add the cream. Uh, it's gonna be nice. So. Give me one second while I puree these mushrooms. That's super loud. I'd like to be mute during the 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 pureeness. Yeah, if you guys don't know about Nashville Hot Chicken, you should, you, should, you should check it out. It is delicious. It's basically just like fried chicken, which, you know, we're in the South. We love, we love, we love our, our fried chicken. Um, and then they, they like coat it with like a super like spicy spice mix. And like every place like does it differently. And it's amazing. I like to go too far when I get it usually, so I can't do it too often. But it is good. Puree of mushrooms. Also, guys, if you don't own a food processor, go buy one because they are. I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna call that good to go. I'll save my spatula though, probably. 
We'll need that later. For oh, show. Sure. All right. So yeah, we just got finally chopped mushrooms. Boom. Yeah. So think about Thomas Keller's recipe here. Is like you, it's like you use these mushrooms to flavor the whole sauce. So. Really? Wait a sec. Wait, what? Oh, wait, hang on, wait, what is the combo here? Chicken. What is the second one? Another kind Wait a sec. Chicken. That's crazy, dude. I, I'm surprised that you don't like hot chicken. I feel like I, I kind of thought you'd be like all about it. Interesting. Interesting. Like, I I am like that sometimes. Every once in a while, I'm like, yeah, like I, I want something like hot, something like hot chicken. Oh, I was talking to last time. Every time. That sucks. Well, welcome back with, your, with you, you and your shadja. All right, so all right, let's get our let's get a pan going in here. So we're gonna get this going a little bit. So first step, we're gonna dice an onion up, half an onion up, the big half though. Peel it, dice it, shouté it. Oh wait, where's the uh? The cookbook. One second, be right back. Okay. What's up? What happened? Huh? Actually, I can't find where I put the clip either. I'm not sure where I put it. I put it in the thing. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, so it's, I mean, basically beef stroganoff is just like a freaking cream sauce with deliciousness in it. So we're going to dice the onion up. You guys know how to dice an onion, right? Cut it in half, leave the hairy part intact. Cut it this way, cut it that way, and then just dice. Right, so we get a nice, a nice dice, as they say. Dice your dice. Okay, boom, nice. Nice dice. That's the last time I'm gonna say that. Alright, so I'll get a little butter in here. Wait, what makes sense? Wait, what now? Oh, uh, wait, I guess talking about uh, onions making you cry. Because, because it shouldn't, I don't know. Too hot. Pants too hot. That pan too hot. Relax. Coat off. Fine. It's okay though. Don't worry. Don't worry. Try to cool down for a second. I got, I got too warm. Too warm. Yeah, like honestly, guys, if your knife is sharp, you shouldn't cry from onions. Onions should not make you cry. That is true. God, does anything smell better than butter and onions cooking together? Seriously. Oh, 
really? Interesting. Cut it, cut it up, and rinse it. That's a that's a that's a good tip there, Pirate D. That's a good Pirate D tip. All right, so our onions are looking good. Yeah, that is uh, yeah, that is uh, seriously, yeah. I I didn't know that either. I also was unaware of that. Let's add our shroomies here. Mm-hmm. Looking good. Oh, baby. Well, like, that instantly smells amazing, so. All right, add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. Couple of grinds of the pepper mill. Yeah, so basically with this step, you just want to like get all the water out of the mushrooms. Like you want these guys to be flavoring the sauce, not adding a lot of water to it though. So it looks like ground beef, doesn't it? It's kind of it's like kind of crazy. Put some heat back up here. Oh yeah, canning. Yeah, pirate D. Like, did you ever uh, did you ever can stuff? Nothing special, it's pretty much like standard braised short ribs. We're gonna cut it like in the cubes. But I did that last night in preparation for today, so. We are gonna skip that step, but that step takes like two to four hours, so. Yeah, this is looking and smelling seriously delicious, so. Loving it. Oh really? So you get lazy and say yeah, so like you don't like you don't can a lot of stuff. Yeah, the reason we're asking is like um like I wanna like make like I I kinda thought for like our like we're getting married next April. So um I thought it'd be cool to have like as like uh as like one of the gifts, like a jar of like marinara sauce or like chimichurri that I made, but I'm not Totally comfortable with canning. I don't want to give someone a can of something that could possibly kill them. So I don't know. It's been it's been worrying me. It's been worrying me. Yeah, uh, I have a food saver also. So I do a lot of like I do a lot of sous vide stuff, uh, fat heat in this. Um, so yeah, I use I use that guy all the time, all the time. <laughs> Sir Bell, no, you, you, you didn't get it. You already got the, yeah, already already mailed it to you. I, mean, I I did recently like like read a book about canning, and it's pretty fascinating, but it also made me scared because I don't want to like. I don't want to kill anybody. This comes to our wedding. That'd be bad. Bad, bad news. Hey, what's up, Rez? Welcome back, man. How's it going? How's, how's Korea today? Good. I'm doing good, man. How are you? <laughs> what's up? Street the wedding. I mean, I thought about it. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. You did not. I thought about it. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> Should be rum or, or bourbon on this one. It's got a little rum. It, oh, it's cold up there? Oh, crazy. Uh, Surveil, actually, Wang Sag is already behind the camera. But, but, cheers to you guys. <laughs> 
Dang sack indeed, yeah. Alright, so this is looking this is getting close. We're getting close here. Is Mike Sack even there anymore or did he leave? Is he is he AFK? I think, I think he's I think he's AFK. Alright, this is getting close here, boys. <clears throat> I'm gonna say that's most of the liquids out of there, right? I'm gonna say that's most of the liquid. Well, I'll give it another like two minutes. Two minutes. Your old girlfriend like tiramisu and coffee. Oh, that's a great combo there, right? That's no doubt, man. Yeah, Spody over here behind the camera loves tiramisu. Beer choices? I mean, I like IPAs. You know, that's, I pretty much have like no real beer beer suggestions. I mean, it's, it's a pretty rich dish. I mean, I honestly, for this, I'd say red wine. Uh, I mean, for, for the most part. All right, cream going in. Three cups. Ooh, that looks, that looks nice. It looks like it's gonna be amazing, and I'm very excited about this, so. I'm gonna add a, add a little bit of time to it. I gotta tie this together, don't I? Are there? Yeah. Mushrooms? Get in there. Ah, uh, where's my knife? Make a little sachet of uh, thyme here, everybody. Drop this bad boy in there. Get in there, sachet of time. Do you guys like sometimes can't find the time? <laughs> it's right here, though. I already found it. I found it. All the shrooms are on the side. What? Over here. I wasn't looking over here. You guys have a different angle than I do. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just looking up for me. Alright, get to a boil. Then we're gonna, we're gonna move this guy back over here to the uh to the to the back burner. Oh, 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 I'm drinking what am I drinking? I think I'm drinking it's called binary. Um oh, I've already finished those. Alright, that was the last one of those. This is my next one though. It's a local brewery called Bearded Iris. It's delicious. That's my next go-to right now. Yeah, the other one was, uh, yeah, it was called, called Binary by Six Point Beer, uh, Brewery. Brewer? Brewer. Okay, we're going to put this guy over here to the back burner because we got to do some other stuff on this stuff. So. You won't see it simmer, but it'll be, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be back there simmering. Burner, lats. Lats. That on like medium. All right, relax. Okay, okay. Chill, 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 chill. Chillax. Oh, I threw this top away. That was a mistake. Found it. Okay. Nice. I do get all the good beers. That is true. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, what's next? You're not gonna do the the, the the other mushrooms. Okay, yeah. What's well, so? Let me get this guy's trash. That's good to go. They got the pasta. Got the short ribs. Got the butter. Got this. Okay, one second.
guys found it. Make sure I'm not messing this up though. Because Thomas Keller is the man. So I did this wrong. Be mad. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah. Alright, okay, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's fine. Alright, so now we gotta saute these other mushrooms. I'm less messy when I stream? Not true. That is not true. Yes, it is. Really? Because you clean as you go. I feel like I'm like, this is like pretty messy. I have like four bowls over there in the sink. I feel like kind of like, uh, you know, bad about this. Alright, so yeah, okay, this is separate. Oh, this is looking good. Oh my god, dude, it smells so good. Oh, <laughs> ee boy. Yeah, put it on low though, it's gonna simmer. Simmer shit out. Nice and slow. Alright, let me get these other mushrooms over here. Alright, mushrooms coming with me. God, these are so dirty. Why are so dirty mushrooms? Because you're because you're born in dirt? Makes sense. Dream Crusher out of Dallas. I wonder if we get that here, uh, Hedonist. I'm not sure if we do. Uh, we got we have a pretty good beer selection here in Nashville, but like we have a lot of like local breweries. So uh, I'm not sure if like um, yeah, I'm not sure if we get that or not. Uh, we are planning a trip to Austin soon though, so I'm guessing they're gonna have that in Austin, right? What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Going to Austin uh, soon to see uh, our friends. Wait, 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 what's he gonna make? Wait, Spurdies. The only thing he's a kid. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'll check it out. Yeah, right? They're, they're probably in Austin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we have a, uh, some of our friends who, uh, who just moved to Austin. We've been, we've been meaning to go visit them. Wait, what is Brenner? Breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner. Got you. Yes. Wait. Yeah. Also, yes. Yeah, Spurties. Is that what it's called? It's a really. It's, it's a weird name. My my my. So many so many good words happening right now. All right. So next step here we're doing uh, is we're going to just uh, salt these mushrooms. So. And like this is why I like this recipe. If you're making something with like mushrooms, it, like I love like the duality of flavors. So we have like chopped up mushrooms in the sauce. We're gonna have sauteed mushrooms on top and mixed in. So like it's gonna be all these different like floral mushrooms are dead to me. So you're dead to me mushroom. Like all these like, different like like different kinds of mushroom flavor really adds a nice like level to uh, to like the dishes. A derp emote. I'm, I don't, I, I've never said anything derpy or anything derpy, so yeah, probably not necessary, guys. Ah! Uh. Also, I did deadlifts with the gym yesterday, guys, and I want to die. I want to die right now. Oh my god, dude. We should have a stove can. This looks insanely good. It looks. Said no. I know, I mean, I said no earlier, but that looks so good. I want people to see this. I said I, I did. I did say nay. I was a naysayer. All right. So, sauteed mushrooms. We're just gonna get some nice slices here, like that, like that, like this. Like we want some like pretty thick slices. Like not crazy, but you want some nice like meaty slices, you know. This little cute little guy. Ooh, gross. Too, too dirty on the bottom there. Chim you off. Some nice thick slices here. Let's go get our butter melted here, honestly. Boop. A little more butter. A little bit of canola oil, too. 
So, like, the reason you add canola oil to your butter is it is it raises the uh, like the, the smoke temperature, so it can it can get to a higher temp and not start smoking. It basically like stabilizes the like the fat in the butter. So, you know what's up. All right. Also, we want to brown these uh, these mushrooms. So, if you want to brown a mushroom when you when you throw it into the like, like into the fire, you want to you don't want to like don't touch it. Don't do not move it for like a good like three four minutes. Because if you move it, then like, all the water is released. I like to steam it and not brown it. And I want a nice browned mushroom. Here. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys know what I'm saying? We're getting sizzly. We're getting sizzly. Go like medium high. Like it's like a seven out of ten on the heat scale. Mmm, it's good for yeah, it's good for you. A little bit of dirt. Probably does in two batches, honestly. This is like this is a good bit of good, good bit of mush. Good bit of mushroom there. So let these guys go first. Get in there. Eh. Also, like use your hand for anything hot. Like don't use a utensil. So it's a cool little tip for you there. Let's let them go. There's like a couple that aren't in the pan though. Let those guys get some 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 action. Oh, what are you what are you doing? What are you doing in here? Get in the pan, bud. I'm gonna toss them on here when they're done. All right, how the sounds looking? Yeah, that's looking insane. Got a little pepper to our sauce back here. I keep pepper grinders scattered around the kitchen, you know. You hear it sizzling in there? You sizzle up there, boys. Give it a south. Wait, wait, what's up? What are you talking about? Must play in the pans so or not. That's yeah, true. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta touch it. Wait, weird color mushroom? What do you mean? It's just uh, cremini's. Pretty, pretty red. Pretty regular. <clears throat> yeah, both those guys brown up nice and nice. Your fish spatula. This guy also was not quite on the pan, you either. Get in there. Yeah, what's up? Best. Oh, best Scott. Okay. You're, you're, well, you're the 141st best Scott on Twitch? Nice. Nice. Oh, wait, who is Dom the Troll? <laughs> Starting off very trolly, so we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll see where this goes. We'll, well, yeah, we'll like, we'll like, you know, we'll see where it goes. I mean, it is literally every stream though. A bunch of like trolls come in and like trying to say like some like dumb shit. It happens every time. It happens literally every time. So this could be that. I, 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 have, I have no idea. I mean, they're smelling pretty brown. Should, like, should we check one? Close. Uh oh. What's up? What's up? We got a, we got we got a raid incoming from some man named Frog. If that's true, appreciate the raid there, Frog. 
If not true, then whatever. Hey, welcome, you two guys. Who are really weird trolls. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I want to turn this over now. Are they, are they video thing? Ah, they're so good. Look how brown they are. Sick. Sick. Looking very brown. <laughs> Shut up. That's not true. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't trust anything he was saying about this frog guy. <laughs> oh, that sounds relaxing, though. It sounds, that sounds very nice. <laughs> Guys, also, I do uh, ASMR uh, late night uh, Mondays, 2 a.m. Central Time. Uh, I do all ASMR. Um, I, actually, I actually get uh, my micro pointer. I, I get this thing, and I, and I lick it over the mic. Ew, and it's it's very relaxing. You could just probably, like, probably come uh, probably come check it out. Come check that out. It's nice. Parody loves it. Uh, Parody's there every single Monday night. He says he can't get to sleep without that now. So, I mean, it's it's it's, it's, it's quite relaxing. What kind of mushrooms are they? Cremini's. How do you spell that? Uh, C R I M I N I. C or I am, I and I. It's like a song. Yeah, yeah, the party, yeah, the party is there. Is there every night? Like he, 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 like he can't sleep without it. It's crazy. Cervell also, also loves it. So, all right, batch one of the mushrooms, Dunzo. Get in here, get in here, mushrooms. <laughs> also, guys, like on a real note, I, I, I know you guys are trolling. Like, I'm not. Yeah, I get it. But like, ASMR is uh, kind of hilarious. It is kind of hilarious. I mean, like, dumb. But like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I get. I mean, some of them show like, actually are like are into it, you know. Like, I, I do get that. But it, it is bizarre to me. Show this. Ah! Mine is you. You're my. I'm your favorite dish. I don't even know. I like you, apron. Is that? I don't know if that means anything. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Get it together, Bouse. Wait, it's not where your mom's hitting the bourbon biscuits. Oh no. Also, not sure what that means. No, I like, like once they get going, you can't don't move them around. But like, I, I gotta like distribute them like like in the pan. Like now I gotta like I like I like I like, like I gotta stop. I gotta let them wrap for like three minutes, you know. Also, like, well, what are burden this? It sounds delicious. <laughs> Guys, this sauce back here is looking amazing. Smells so freaking good. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Am I? <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, part. Yeah, part. Yeah, part time. Uh, I don't think they're making Rambo movies uh, any uh, recently anymore. But maybe, maybe, uh, maybe if they uh, if they bring them back. Ah, no stove camps or bell. Sorry, bud. Like I don't, I don't, uh, I don't need it back here. So. I said I, I did. I, I did say I said we didn't need it tonight. So, what am I rigging up tonight? Uh, I'm guessing that's cooking. Yeah. So we did uh, we did tiramisu earlier. If you're a tiramisu fan, it looks sick, like in a good way. And now we're doing beef stroganoff. Oh, pepper, I love pepper jack cheese on everything. Yeah, uh, also Thomas Keller, Big Shogunoff. We got a Thomas Keller fans. You're in for a treat. Also, welcome to a side of rum. Is this, <laughs> that's the yeah, Toshiba 3000. What are you even talking about? What's even happening right now? Toshiba 3000. This, this, wait, with, with, with this, with this guy here? It's pretty high tech. Um, it has Bluetooth, uh, um, it's like Bluetooth enabled in the spatula, got it, caught that, you gotta see that, no, caught that, reflex like a, like a freaking cat. 
Yeah, it's like Bluetooth enabled, so I can like flip things. I'm like, like, a, like in my office doing stuff. I can like flip stuff around with the spatula. It's pretty cool. It's pretty high tech. So. Oh, mac and cheese. We should do mac and cheese next weekend. Every time I see you like walk away, I'm worried you like start writing things on your notepad about things I'm doing wrong. <laughs> and it freaks me out. It, uh, is it smoky in here? Yeah, real smoky. Is it, is it really? Yeah. Okay. We actually are done with this, so those should be nice and browned up too. Kill it. Flip these guys over a little bit. That guy's good. Ooh, it's time for a tool I never get to eat. Well, I don't know, where is it? Yes. yes. I'm never going to use these and I love them. Come here. It's terrible. Turn over. Turn over. Okay, this is just terrible. It's terrible. It's not as like, cool as like as it, like, as, as it looks. Like, oh, open up farther. Why is it so? There we go. That was the trick. When that thing turns off, it's like, it's so quiet in here now. Great audio. Is it? Yeah. Wait, did someone just, just say that? No, I said it. Oh, oh, did you? Oh, I missed one, did I? Which one? Silly bastard. Eh, this one? This one? This one? This, this, one? Seems, this seems unnecessary. Does it, Spody? Don't leave me. No. Get off my thing. Okay, get off there. Actually, I probably should have been doing pasta by now, also, but we didn't, so. Great. Pasta incoming. Alright, that's looking good. Pasta time. Alright, so that's looking good. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm feeling good about this, guys. Don't worry. We won't have any pasta going over, sure. It's a, large, it's a large component of this of this dish, I would say. One second. Get the pasta pot going. You guys are over there talking shit right now. I can't see it. It's funny, are they? What? Are they over there talking shit right now? Uh, I will go off. Pirates calling out a frog. Could you on the channel and said, are these your trolls? <laughs> is, is that guy an actual streamer? I don't know. It can't be. It can't be. That's a terrible name. There's no way someone's named Frog1479 or whatever his name is. I don't know what it really is! Yes! I'm, I'm so sorry! Why aren't you believing me? I'm uh, so sorry, Frog. Uh, that is my bad. I thought they were like, making up a name. You know? That is, that is, I, I am embarrassed right now. I'm so sorry. Are these your trolls, frog? <laughs> Does he really do a ASMR? Seriously? Like, ASMR and FIFA? It's a really weird mix of content, but, like, cool. Well, welcome, dude. I'm so sorry as, as I said that. I was, I'm, just, I'm a, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I am a dummy. That's pretty much all this. You flambéed tonight? Oh, steak, Diane. Oh, you look fancy. <laughs> Sorry, Frog. No, I love your trolls. They're they're hilarious. They're like, they're like nice trolls. But they are like definitely like nice, nice-ish trolls. Thank you for the follow, Davina. Where's my where's my show roots? Oh, and thanks for the accidental follow, <laughs> Maz. Maz. What does that mean? How do you accidentally follow someone? He said I followed by accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, please don't unfollow on accident then. That's, that's all I care about. Thank you. All right, so short ribs. Frog, I'm seriously awesome. I, I want to, you know what? Follow this guy back. What's up? What's up? Can I follow from here? <laughs> Wang said, shut up. You're not even going to help me right now. Can I fall from here? I can, right? I guess I can. Look at this channel. Here we go. Boom. Followed. I followed you, Frog. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm just being a dick. I thought they were, I mean, they're, they're, they're being very trolly, so I thought they were just like fucking with me. Okay? Okay, I'm sorry. All right, so... So, anyway, what's up? This is a thick sauce right there. Also, okay. thanks for the follow, Dama. Dama, thank you, love you. All right, so, so, next step, show ribs. So yeah, these are, I, bra I braised these guys last night, okay? Like nothing fancy, just some straight up, just like red wine, beef stock kind of braise. So now we're gonna cut it on these little cubes. I'm gonna use these as the beef in the stroganoff because we're crazy. So yeah, that's what's that, that that's what's next. Look at that, it's freaking beautiful, dude. I'm gonna trim off some of the fat on these guys. Honestly, they are a little fatty. So thanks for the follow, frog. Thank you, frog. I'm gonna trim these guys up a little bit, yeah. That, that one's good, that one's good. Don't toss the fan away. Yeah, Frog, so uh, you do ASMR and FIFA, huh? Dude, I used to play FIFA like back in the day. I used to really like it. I'm thinking about like getting back into that. Like that's like a sports game I actually really, really like. <laughs> Wait, there's, no it's not. Is this, there's no way it's a Desi Alley Cat raid as well. Two raids, one night, impossible. Right, slice this guy like this. Here, so make him like cubes with this stuff. Okay, that looks, that looks, that looks pretty, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. Let me trim off like this little bit of this guy. And like this little bit of this guy. Oh, that's a lot of meat on that one. That's good, so good. Dude, don't judge me. You yeah, it's good. Have you told everyone what we're making? Oh, guys, also, this is beef stroganoff stuff. We already made the tiramisu, making beef stroganoff now. Good. Oh, that's too much back there. Showing that guy off. That. This. Boom. All right, boom. Beef cubes. Beef cubes. That's looking awesome, by the way. Okay. Also, where, where's this guy? Sorry, for a second. Gotta do some stove work. You should bring it over here. Because Cervell is missing the stove cam. No, it's fine. Uh, this is just like this. We're going to lay there in one second. In one second, we're going to lay there. Don't worry. Don't worry. And also, like, we're just going to pasta back there, too. It's just like, we're, it's, like it's, it's, it's just it's simmering. Simmering. Look, I've got a big splash there on the pasta water. All right, cool. Pasta water's going, got our sauce looking good. Let's now sear some beef cubes, all right? All right? Boom, okay, nice. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, we're just gonna sear these guys up, throw them in the oven for a little bit, let them kinda get warmed up. My, Maz with the hose, what's up? <laughs> you guys, okay, all right. Appreciate the hose, though. 
guys are good, really, really good hosts. Like, really good hosters. Oh, surveillance pirates, same time, face, hilarious. You guys are best friends now. All right, for all the hosts, we'll do one more sip of rum for Pirate D and all the hosters and the trolls and frog. Boom, there it is, a little sip of roo. A little sip of roo -ski. Uh, I will show the sauce in one second, boy. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make the, uh, I wanna immersion blend it too, so where's my immersion blender? Right here, it's the beast. <clears throat> Did I have another strainer also? I need to have one more strainer. Is that possible to have? <laughs> what happened? Maz hosted the wrong person. Ha! <laughs> Hilarious. Moz, classic Moz, I would say right there, guys. That's classic Moz. Thanks for the follow, Iron Hobbit. Iron Hobbit, that's a, that's a pretty cool name. Sup, dude? All right, we're just gonna like sear these guys up. These are very cold, so we gotta get them warmed up some. No big deal, though. so hot. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay, a little like little beef cubes, no big deal. No big deal. A little fat in there. Everyone loves fat. Okay. Okay. You can toss the sachet out of here also. Woo! We're getting toasty over here. Best guy, what's up? I have my fiance this evening. Good. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Question. <laughs> like, okay. like doing, like doing pretty good, I think. Had a great weekend. I had a drink in a bag today. Yeah, dude, we went to a place. You can, uh, that they had drinks called a punching bag. It was a plastic bag with ice in your drink. A straw and a rubber band around it. It felt like it was like a little punching bag. You could pick it. It was fucking cool. It was really, really neat. Okay. I'm gonna kill that. Toss it here in the oven. Oh, okay. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close to uh, close to the finish line. Dip it, dip it, dip. All right, mushrooms, move over here for now. I have a lot of my way. This guy's dirty. This is the dirty, the dirty, the dirty stuff. Dirty stuff. Where, where's my tractor? I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to ask. <laughs> oh, uh, pretty good, Wayne. Thanks for asking. Well, once again. If you guys have any like fiance related questions, um, just direct them at Wangsec, honestly. I think we keep them up to date pretty 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 reg. Pretty regular on that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Last little bit of the, the rum. Is this rum? Here we go. This is rum. So, uh, welcome to a side of rum. Tonight, apparently. All right, we're kind of chilling now, waiting for the, the pasta to get get cooked. Wait, that is, yeah, yeah, like, like, like part of, but like, literally it was like a, uh, yeah, like a disposable plastic bag. I linked uh, an Instagram picture. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. How was your wang sack this weekend? That's pretty good. 
Wait, my wing sack? He, he's actually in the chat. My wing sack is in the chat. Those drinks are sacks. Oh, yeah, those drink Wang sack, you should go to that place, get a sack of drinks, and put it near your wang, and it's your wang sacks, drinks, wang sack. <laughs> Does that, does that make sense? Pretty sure it does. Pretty sure it does. All right, let's bring the sauce over here. Let's immersion blend this stuff up. Uh, uh. All right, immersion blender, where you at? Go over here. I need you my life. All right, guys, immersion blender number two, well, not number two, but number two application of the evening is right here. I also like how they give, like, a, they, 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 they give you a nice long cord here on the old immersion blender, so I appreciate that. Also, get this out of here. Thomas Keller, I love you. This guy's book's amazing. Get it. But it's kind of in the way now, so Thomas Keller, relax. Okay, get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. It's garbage. Move this. Okay, it's fine. It's good. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. Where's our, where's our pasta? Also, guys, that's like a cool pasta we found. We couldn't find this fresh, but uh, this is like a really nice stroganoff noodle, so we're doing it. We're doing this. Wait, what's up? Uh, no. No. Yeah, that's not our, I wish that was my restaurant. Oh my God. Actually, that's, um, I'm not sure if you guys are like Food Network watchers. Uh, that restaurant is actually, um, what's her name? Sh uh, Shawan, the, the, uh, she was the, the Indian lady who won, like, Chopped, maybe? She won, like, one of those, like, Food Network shows. Um, and she opened up, she, she, she opened up two restaurants here in Nashville. She's doing, like, really, really awesome, actually. She's doing good. Yeah, it's like Shawan or something. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna blend this stuff though because I feel like it needs it. So we're doing that. Because I'm making this call right now. Ah, I'm so strong. Blend it. Like, I want all this flavor. I don't want to like lose it in its flavor, honestly. You know, you know, guys. I'm, a, I'm I'm I just save my flavor. Save with the flavor is kind of my motto in life. So, God, this smells so fucking good. Sorry, I got excited there. This is my bad. Okay, I gotta stop. I'm gonna stop singing. I'm sorry. This seriously smells amazing, though. Number three, baby. We're going to mer we're going to immersion. We're going to immersed right now. Is it even on? Yeah, this is on. Who said Rachel Ray banned that person who was on? <laughs> Wang Sack Drink Shack. <laughs> Drinksackshack.com. Uh, Wang Sack, if you're not buying that domain right now. Oh, we already did. Okay, nice. Wait, who's wait, is that is that some is that some some frog books? Is that, is, that, is that Fox and Moats? Who is that? <laughs> who is, who is, who is, who is Pseudo? Whose are those? <laughs> those are really good Moats though. I like the thick one a lot. Thick. Real. Yeah. That's hilarious. Got me. I think three is too much. What is that one, dude? Is that a freaking meatball sub? <laughs> dude, a frog. Who are, who's a moach of these? These are awesome. Oh, dude, I spoke because thick is a, uh, it's a freaking, uh, it's a versatile emote, you know? I think that's immersion blended enough. Holy mother of God, that's good. That's like so good, it's it's not even fair. Okay, should I strain this or like leave it kind of chunky, Spody? Chunky. Things like, like don't even worry about straining it. Yeah. I'm like I'm like I think I'm I think I'm really on that.
Yeah, I think like it's gonna stay chunky. Yeah, I think that that's like good to go. Everything's immersed together. Hello, mushroom sauce. You smell amazing. Okay, the water's boiling. Is that a piasta? I did splatter the camera stand here. I gotta touch this stuff. Spody, is it gonna be a problem? I touch this. I spattered some sauce on the stand there. It's fine. It's fine. It's a little bit. It's a little. It's like a little, a little, a little schmooshing and schmouching, schmouchings. You're not you when you're hungry. Totally. And like this is gonna be like this is gonna be this is gonna come together real fast right now, and you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck happened? And then you're gonna be hungry also, cause this this mushroom dish is seriously gonna be tits, yes. All right, so let's get a pasta going real fast. Ooh, we gotta make a pasta drain area, that don't we? in there, pasta. Look at all. Who cares? Oh, what, oh, is that a Pikachu vomiting? Hilarious. Uh, Frog, I respect the things that you subscribe to because they have hilarious emotes, honestly. Also, because we're just outside of Burbank, I did a little, 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 little bit of Burbank. Just a little bit of Burbank. Because we're like, oh, well, uh, Spody, uh, this ROM can go now, please. It's only halfway uh, empty. Also, here's this uh, boyvin. Those are out of my hands. Thank you very much. Sick. Guys, it's about to come together real quick and look amazing and blow your mind. So. Also, yeah, we need like half of these guys in here. Get in there. Get in here. Get in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got shot. We got shot parsley, though. Got shot parsley. Oh, yeah, dude, guys, thanks for getting out there, man. It's been, like, super fun. So, Iron Hobby, what's up? Hi, Parsley. Got that. Hey. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I've got a very important part. I've got a very important part. Guys, I'm not sure you, like, like know about Crim Fresh, but Crim Fresh is... Amazing. It's kind of like a really, like a mild sour cream. We got like a nice scoop of this to this. So I actually looked it up. A stroganoff is a sauce made with sour cream. Oh, is it now? So like, had you not added that? It wouldn't be a stroganoff? It wouldn't be oh, a stroganoff. Like, 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 were you testing me right then? Were you like waiting to see if I remember the most important part of a stroganoff? Yeah, you have. Yes, guys, I won. I freaking won. Oh, it does. It like instantly looks more amazing. Oh my god, dude! It smells so good. It's it's crazy how like how like how good this smells. Holy shit, that's so good. That's like seriously so good. I'm not even kidding, man. I'm not even gonna be like, oh, it's so good. Like, I'm being real. Like, this is good. All right, we gotta get our, our pasta station set up there real fast. Probably use the same thing, huh? Use this guy again. Good to go. Wait, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> I don't even I don't know what's going on here. I'm not sure what's going on. The good thing about food somewhere else. <laughs> oh, I just, uh, no, no, you can know that here. You can't have any of this. I'm gonna try it. No, can't do this. It's all good for me. Oh wow. Right? It's so stupidly good. It's oh. so rich and like 
earthy. Oh my god, right? It is good stuff. Go think about food somewhere else, Pirate G. No, Pirate D, uh, he, he's a man. No, no actually, you know what? No, I'm with you, Pirate D. This mask guy is good at hand. Now we're talking about licking spoons and stuff. Is this Spody Cam? Maybe. I want to get a like like a like a cam like she wears like around her like like around her neck so like like it's like it's like it's like all reactions. <laughs> it is only us doing because because we're like licking the spoon and putting it back in the dish. No, yeah, yeah, it is. It is it is just us eating this. Don't 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 you worry. <laughs> I mean we're all very clean people though, man. Hey, what's up, vegan chick eatery? That's okay. Uh, is this like, like vegan chicken? Hilarious. Thank you! Okay, yeah, our sauce is looking good. Tasting good as well. Hey, Hera, we did use a uh, creme fraiche. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Who, uh, who, who said that? Uh, Hera Tron. Too much cream turned into a mushroom of cream soup. Yeah, no, yeah, we use cream and also uh, creme fraiche. So we like, we have the cream and the mushrooms, reduce it down, and then we add the creme fraiche like at the end, yeah, yeah. Okay, the pasta's probably getting close here, huh? Well, that's some crazy looking papradelle pasta. Noodle guys, sad day. Sad day on the noodle front. Vegans are allowed here. Best guy, get out of here. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, actually, uh, we live in Nashville. Yeah. Um, I am actually from. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it's Italian, and I don't speak Italian. So if someone could like translate that, that'd be sick. <laughs> what you said last. <laughs> Oh, Maz is hilarious, also. <laughs> Maz cracked me up all night long. Like, nice like nice addition here to the, uh, the old stream. Oh, that's looking thick. Our pasta's getting so close. Yeah, sorry there. Yeah, uh, pause, right? No, uh, I'm going to say your name is Pesolano Grin Grinzosa. Right? Pretty sure that's exactly what that says. What is? Oh yeah, that's what Wyatt said. Wyatt said, I'm Italian, this is an to your cooking. Why, why, why? Also, is this, is, this isn't Italian, right? This is German, right? Yeah. Isn't, isn't this a, a German dish? I think it's because you dropped the pasta. Oh, I'm so, I'm sorry. If that's why I, I am also embarrassed, I am so sorry. That, that, uh, that, like, that pasta should have been safe. Taste this again, make sure it's good. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. All right, I also got, if you're making pasta with a sauce, always save some pasta water. I'm gonna save like a little bowl of pasta water. Not this noodle though, that was an accident. Get out of there, noodle. Noodle, get out of here. Why are there more noodles in this? Get out of here, noodles. Save like a little bit of a uh, put the pasta water here. Let's let's let's, let's go with this with the noodles here. So where's our other pan? I may actually. Oh yeah, that's in here. Alright, this should be good to go. Is it the lady a vegan streamer? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. The lady is a vegan streamer. Yes. Yes, I am so sorry that we dropped the pasta. That's what the uh, the issue was earlier. That's, that is my bad. That is my bad. Um, what should we do here? 
Should I put all the pasta in this pot and just like let it cook for a second? Or should we do like a like a small pan of this? Hey, what's up? I've always been here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dama, that was confusing also, how dare you? <laughs> and then and then and then puts like the like the like the devil horn cap. He's on like, what are you guys doing here? Hey what's up guys? New uh, new to the stream. What are you guys doing? Classic Dama right there, guys. All right, let's introduce like one more second here. I want to dump our pasta out. This is hot. It's gonna burn myself probably. Ah! Oh yeah. Also, our short rib pieces look sick. Oh, I've got us a nice like uh, like pot on a plate for this. What's your like plate and plan there? Plate and plan? Oh, you just need one? I think so, yeah. I mean like this is all for like for the like for the grams. It's all for the grams. Ah, I too I buzzly! Think just, I think just white. You think so? Yeah, I mean it's square to white. Right? Hold up. You tell me. Do I like McDonald's? I mean, I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, McDonald's, like, it tastes good. Like the like 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 French fries, those French fries, yeah, like all day, every day. But like, you can't live on that shit, you know. Oh God, Maz. I guess. I mean, I don't want to, but I I, mean, I want you to I want you to say it. So let's freaking do this, I guess. Wait, wait, hang on. Oh no. Uh, I don't think I want to hear the answer to this, honestly. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, just, it's just parsley. It's just parsley. Ah, okay, that was, that was okay. That was alright. That was okay. I'm okay with that. Acceptable. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, I mean, like, like, they have, like, good print for us. Like, the thing about fast food, it's like, it's not... Like you can eat fast food. Like go eat it, it's fine. But don't only eat fast food. Wait, what the hell's a juicy oh god, I hate to ask this question. But what's a juicy Lucy? I got a feeling this is like a setup right here. What even set up? Well, cheers boys. Side of bourbon. Right here, let's do this. Hey, Alan Tower, what's up, man? Cheers. Cheese and the meat. Wait, a, a big in Minnesota. Oh, wait, 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 what is it, though? Big in Minnesota. Is it, is it, is it a drink, I'm guessing? I mean, it sounds, it sounds cool. It sounds pretty cool. You guys want to see the, how the short ribs pieces turned out? Those little, little juicy nuggets of meat. Look at these guys. Oh, baby. Look at that, dude. Oh, what is this little nugget of fatness? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Man, God. That's so good. Like, short ribs could be, like, the best thing in the world, but that's very possible. Okay. All right. Okay, we're good here. I'm just going to add the pasta to this, man. I'm just going to, like, dump it in there. Dump it. Dump it right in. We got a plate here to, to, to plate in there, Spody? Okay. Okay. Bur burner, relax. Relax. After that, we gotta look at the tiramisu, too. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, we're doing this. We're doing the tiramisu as well. Juicy Lucy, cheeseburger, cheese cook. Oh, it, like inside of it? Cool. Oh, that's just funny. 
Um, dude, I uh, actually I did. Uh, I used to make uh, it was a pork burger. Um, with like cilantro and like lime, and then it had blue cheese in the middle of it, and it was insanely good. It was like it was a it was a freaking flavor explosion, but it was awesome though. Actually, I need the the, the pasta water in this. It's pretty. It's pretty thick. Pretty thick. What do you got? Put the pasta in the in the chowch. Beef stroking out. Shoused up. Like, how's it look? Pretty good or not good? Yeah. I think it looks uh, pretty damn good. All right? All right, so plate and time. Plate and time here, everyone. My favorite time of the evening, honestly. We're doing like one like picture plate, do like one. Should we do like a, like a small plate then? Yeah. Do, do this. Yeah. All right. Okay. I mean, don't like overflow the plate. All right, there you go. There it is, guys. Beef stroganoff. Like, how does it look? Delicious. Pretty sick, right? Yeah, that was good. All right, for the Instagrams. Let's check out that uh, tiramisu, though, also, right? Can I get some? Yeah. <sighs> Let's check out that tiramisu. Also, say this new to new because I'm excited about this. That's very, that's very hot. All right, let's do like one, let's do like one taste test though, right, guys? We gotta, gotta, gotta taste test this. Making like a little, like a little bitty, little little mini stroganoff dish here. Give me one mushroom. Give me an itty bitty piece of beef here. Okay. All right, here we go. You know, like a little uh, amuse bouche, real fast of the stroganoff, because I have to try this before I, because I'm gonna die if I don't. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Good. Okay. That is no shit good. That is so freaking good, dude. I'm telling you, that's like no joke. That is some decadent. You know, like if, if you like mush, if you like mush, if you don't like mushrooms, honestly, you would love that. Like that is fucking. Pardon my French, or my Italian. That is so good. 
That is so good, dude. I can't even tell you like how like how like how like how good that is. Oh my god. Okay. That is so that is so good. Woo! Alright, I am I'm happy with that turnout of the flavors. <laughs> Why is it a flight? What do you mean? Oh, you mean like the one that we're taking on like Instagrams? Guys, like check out Instagram though, like you'll see this on the Instagrams. I, like we're gonna eat this though. I'm, like we're not gonna like throw it away. This will be this will be eaten in like two seconds. Here, set that though for because we're doing like the tiramisu also. So all right, so let's check out our tiramisu now. All right, okay. Get this out of the way for a second. Back in the hair. This is our this is our land of deliciousness over there. So all right, get this out of here too. We're dealing with this for a second. Okay, all right, tiramisu time. Let's check out how that bad boy turned out. I'm gonna guess pretty good. <laughs> if I had to really take a stab at it. All right, so turn my soup time. Let's get a little plate, right? A little spatula. The plastic spatula looks good. Are we, are we good here, Spody? On this one? Now, if I drop this right now, that'd be, that'd be the worst travesty ever. Now it's that like nice and cold. Thanks for the follow, Bass, Bassman. Yeah, Bassman! Thanks for the follow, dude. Or, or could be uh, Bassman. Oh, yeah, true, Bassman. It could be like a bass player or something. Let my coattail drag, but I ain't tarring my suit. Tarring. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but hell yeah. What's tarring? I think it means tearing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think he meant to put cherry and put tori. Okay, here, here's our tiramisu we made like, uh, what, like, was like two hours ago? Yeah, that's good. Ish. All right, let's go and cut a slice of this. Let's gauge. Where's, where's the middle at, though? Like right here? So like this. Like that. Yeah. That up a little bit, but it's probably fine. Yummy. It's a it's it's a little it's a little runny still. I like it runnier. Do you? Yeah. I mean, it tastes delish, so I'm not upset about this. All right, put this back in the fridge though, because it's still a little still a little warm. Like it needs like at least like six hours of like, chill time to be like perfect, but I thought. The first would be all right. It is. It is quite runny. <laughs> I like it. I'm not sure it's like worthy of like an Instagram pic, honestly. It's like the other one. We have another tiramisu picture. I don't know. I don't, I don't like that one. Well, we'll see. I don't like that one. I'm gonna eat it still. Do I look, oh, oh, Maz! Wait, Maz, are you in Ireland? Interesting. We actually we do deliver to Ireland. Yeah, for four thousand dollars, I will mail you a piece of tiramisu. So yeah, we do. We should bring that. Before, that we ever want to eat it, cause like, honey, that doesn't look good. Okay. It, it's 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 just 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 too runny. So we'll do this picture tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do the the tiramisu tomorrow. Cause that's just, just too runny still. Fuck, that sucks. It's okay. I mean, it tastes amazing. Have you have you tasted this yet? No. It's good. It's good. It's too runny though, man. Damn it. I was hoping, I was hoping like that like hour and like it would be enough to like cool it down, but it tastes amazing. Holy shit. Oh, you live in Sweden? Oh, is that, are you being sarcastic, Mass? I don't like your attitude right now, honestly. Can we please, uh, please ban Mass for life, please? <laughs> Forever? <laughs> So, Bill, like, you know where I live. Well, not, like, the exact address, but, like, you know where I live. Like, one day, we'll have, like, a big meetup, and we'll all like, hang out and drink beers and eat food and have a great freaking time, you know? That would be really fun. Yeah, so fun. Also, I may, like, eat, like, eat, like, dessert first, I think. Is that, like, a, like, a, like a thing that folks do? Like, this is so good. It is very runny still, though. 
And then he's like, and then he's like a good couple hours of set back up, like it, cause like it's kind of warm, like when you make it, it's still kind of warm. So it needs like a couple hours to like set back up. So look, look, tastes amazing though. So <laughs> you're twelve, nearly six. What? What? You guys are being weirdos. All right, dudes. So here's like here's the deal. We're gonna eat this food now, and then we're gonna sign off. But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time. You guys are awesome. I had a great time hanging out with you dudes. All the follows were insane. Um, we're here almost every Sunday. So I hope to see you guys next Sunday. We may start adding a second day in the week to do this too. So we're going to sign off now because this food is calling my name. Thanks for the follow, MC. Oh, what's up, um, follow? Thanks, dude. Thanks. Um, yeah, so we're out, but... Follow, hit that follow button, Instagram, check that out, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. I hope hope you guys come back next time. This has been the best stream that we've had so far. So like everyone here, thank you so much for hanging out. It's been a great time. Seriously, like like no shit, been like so fun. Um, so yeah, so we're out of here. Love you guys. Stick around for the outro video. It was pretty cool. Our uh, our boy Wangsack made it for us. So uh, yeah. But uh, this has been our Beef Stroganoff Tiramisu stream. We'll see you guys next time, I hope, on the side of bourbon. Later.